United States Governor Abubakar Sanibelo has presented a 198.2 billion naira 2022 budget proposal to the State House of Assembly with a capital expenditure of 124.08 billion representing 62.59% and recurrent expenditure of 74.1 billion naira representing 37.41%. Chene Mibami reports, and after this report, David Alabi is standing by to bring you updates in business. Governor Sani Bello started by briefly reviewing the performance of the budget in the outgoing financial year. He said the 2021 budget was aimed at completing prioritized projects in order to improve the quality of life of the people of the state. He believes the budget achieved this despite the twin challenges of a dwindling financial inflow and insecurity bedeviling the state. The budget which was tagged budget of consolidated development is marginally higher than the 2021 original budget with 12.75% representing 44.8 billion naira. The capital expenditure for the proposed budget also shows an improvement on the 2021 initial budget with 21.11% while the recurrent expenditure maintains a 1.07% increase over the 2022 budget. Governor Sanibello said the 2022 capital expenditure budget is based on the approved median term expenditure framework 2022 to 2024, the medium term sector strategy of all sectors in the state, which he said provided the basis for capital allocation to ministries, departments, and agencies. 62.9% of the budget was earmarked for capital projects, while 8.89% was budgeted for education out of which 956.1 million naira was set aside for infrastructure development in Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida University, Lapai. In the coming financial year, concerted efforts will be made in the implementation of road projects such as dualization of Minakate Riki Bida Road, construction of Kontogoda Bypass, construction of Peiko Lapai Road, and construction of Dibele Nasko Salka Road. Similarly, efforts will be stepped up to ensure the completion of ongoing road projects in Mina, Kwantogora, Agei, Kagara, among others. The sum of 16,492,146,000 598 naira and 98 kubo has been proposed for the road construction and rehabilitation activities in 2022. The Speaker of the 90th State House of Assembly, Abdullah Bawa Wuse, commended the Governor and assured that the legislators will scrutinize the budget with all sense of sincerity. He promised the lawmakers would step up their oversight function to ensure full implementation of the 2022 budget when passed into law. This suggests that we must work vigorously on our internally generated revenue so as to address the numerous activities of government. We shall therefore continue to partner with the executive arm through relevant legislation to ensure proper utilization of available resources. As over 62 percent of the budget has been committed to capital expenditure, some members of the House said this is the first time since the inception of this administration that the capital expenditure is rising above recurrent expenditures. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina.